Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here with the next topic of today. The validity of Huntington postulates on set B. But before moving to the topic of today, let me tell you one thing I forgot in the last lecture. In the last lecture, we talked about the associative law. About the associative law. And in that lecture, I only told you, I think, about the associative law with respect to with respect to the AND operation. And I forgot to tell you about the OR operation. So let me tell you that the associative law is equally valid for the OR operation as it is for the AND operation, which means that this expression. is a completely valid expression. This is an associative law with respect to the AND operation and this one is it with the respect to the OR operation. Okay? So now, to today's topic. So, today we discuss the postulates, the Huntington postulates that we have discussed earlier are these valid on the set B. And what is the set B? The set B is the set of binary which contains the two elements 0 and 1. Okay? So these are the Huntington postulates. Let me revise them. Closure, identity, commutative, distributive, complement and unequality. And the basic three operators, the AND operator, the OR operator and the complement. In the end, the output is 1 or the output is high only when both the inputs are high. In the OR operator, the output is high when any of the input is high. And the complement, it is the opposite. For 0, it's 1. For 1, the complement is 0. Discussing the postulates now. The closure postulate. So number 1, look, if you're in the AND operation, you're in the OR operation, you're taking the complement, the output belongs to the same set B where the inputs belong. The outputs belong to the same set B where the inputs belong, which means that the closure property is satisfied by the set of binary, that is 0 and 1. Okay? Number 2, identity. So, with respect, uh, so we got two uh, uh, identities with respect to the OR and with respect to the AND. So, with OR, X plus 0, this would be what? This would be x back. And with respect to the end, x times 1 would be x. So 0 is the additive identity and this is the end identity, 1. Now, look over here. If we have 0 and it with 0, it results in 0. If x is, if 0 is the x. Now, if we have 1, sorry, this is the, uh, this is the end. I'm talking about the OR. If we have 0 and OR with 0, it is again 0, which means x is again equal to x, okay? If we have 1 ended with 0, it's again equal to 1. So, if 1 is the x, so x plus 0 is again equal to x, which means this is satisfied. If in the end operation, Anything ended with 1 is again equal to x. So 0 ended with 1 is 0 and 1 ended with 1 is 1, which means x ended with 1 is x. So the identity postulate of the Huntington postulates is also satisfied by the set B. Commutative. And commutative we again got with respect to plus x plus y is equal to y plus x and with respect to the end we have x into y is equal to y into x. Now let us confirm, removing this. So first is what? The OR operation, x plus y, 0 plus 0 is 0. Uh, that, that cannot be reversed, it will be the same. 
So if we go for 0 plus 1, it's 1. Now if we reverse the order, 1 plus 0, this is again equal to 1. So which means x plus y is equal to y plus x, which is satisfied. The next, with respect to the AND operation, x into y is equal to y into x. Now if x is 0, is y is 1. So 0 ended with 1 is 0. Reversing, x becomes 1, y becomes 0. 1 ended with 0 is again 0, which means that this postulate, the commutative postulate, is also satisfied. Okay? Okay. The distributive is a longer one, so it will take a little time. Next we discuss is the complement. That for any x in the set exists an x complement. So the set B has 0 and 1. So for 0 the complement is 1, for 1 it's 0, which means there exists the complements of each other. So the complement postulate is also satisfied. Now, the inequality postulate that there exists, uh, sorry, wait, x plus, that the complement property I forgot, that x plus x complement is 1 and x into x complement is 0. So from the tables look, x plus, if, if 0 is the x, so x complement is 1. So x plus x complement, 0 plus 1 is 1. If x is 1, so x complement is 0. So 1 plus 0 is again 1, which proves this property, x plus x complement is 1. Okay? Now, x into x complement, if x is 0, so the complement is 1. 0 into 1 is 0. If x is 1, the complement of 1 is 0, which means x into x complement in again 0. So the property number 5 of the Huntington postulate is satisfied. And the sixth, the inequality that there exists at least two elements x and y in the set such that x is not equal to y. And we have seen that we have two elements 0 and 1 and 0 is not equal to 1 which means that this property is also satisfied. For the distributive law, I will be making a table. From the table, I will be explaining that. So, let me make the table. Okay. So, now this table, we will be filling it together. But first, have a look. The distributive law is what? X or Y added with Z is equal to x or y and it with x or z. This is the distributive law of and operation over the or operation. Okay? But first we need to see that here we have three inputs. Three inputs. So which means we would be having 2 to the power 3 is 8 input combinations which I have given in this form. Okay, now with the help of these tables, we would be filling them up. Okay, so number one, y r z, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 1, 1, 0 is 1, 1, 1 is 1, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 is again 1. Now this is the left hand side x or x ended with y or z. So let me write it with a red color. So now look, this would be the end operation. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, again 0. 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, now this is 1. 1, 1, this is again 1. And now this 1, 1, this is again 1. So let me check if we've got 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Done. Now, the, to the right hand side, x ended with y. x and y, okay, this is the end operation. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 0 is again 0. 0, 1 is again 0. 0, 1, 0. 1, 0 is 0. 1, 0 is again 0. 1, 1 is 1. And the next final 1, 1 is 1. Okay. 
x and it with z. 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 is again 0, 0, 1 is again 0, 1, 0 is 0, 1, 1 is 1, 1, 0 is again 0, and 1, 1 is again 1. Now to the right hand side, this is now the R operation. We will be Ring these two. So 0, R, 0 is 0. 0, 0 is 0. The third, uh, 0, 0 is 0. Okay. The fourth, 0, 0 is again 0. Fifth is 0, 0. 0, 1. 1, 0. 1. And 1, 1 is 1. So let us check if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, have a look. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 1. Which means that the distributive law of R over the end has been satisfied. Now, we will satisfy the end operation over the R operation. We'll see. I'm drawing the table. Okay. Now, again over here, we have three inputs. We will be having three inputs. The distributive law of R over the AND operation is like this. Okay? So we have three inputs X, Y, and Z, and the same 2 to the power 3 is equal to eight input combinations. Okay? Let me complete this down as well. 8 input combinations we have. All right. So Y ended with Z, X ordered Y, X ordered with Z, and then the end of these two. So let me do this. So Y ended with Z first. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 1 is 0. 1, 0 is 0. 1, 1 is 1. 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 0, 0, 1, 0 is 0, and 1, 1 is again 1. Now, I missed 1. x plus y into z. Okay. So the left hand side I have missed. So let me remove this and I will be doing this with a passage of time. The left hand side is what? x or with y into z. Then we have x or with y. Then we have x or with z. And finally we have x or with y and it with x or with z. So this is the left hand side. So let me use a different color. So this is the R operation. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 0, is 0. 1 is 1. 1, 0 is 1. 1, 0 is again 1, 1, 0 is again 1, and this 1, 1 is again 1. All right? Now, for the right hand side, x odd with y. 0, 0 is 0, 0, 0 is again 0, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 1 is again 1, 1, 0 is 1, 1, 0 is 1, 1, 1 is 1, and 1, 1 is again 1. Now, x odd with z. So, 0, 0 is 0. 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 1, 1, 0 is 1, 1, 1 is 1, 1, 0 is 0, and 1, 1 is again 1. Your people cross-checking it, okay? The next, the final is the AND operation, which is the right-hand side. So 0, 0 is a 0, 0, 1 is a 0, 1, 0 is a 0, 1, 1 is a 1, 1, 1 is a 1, 1, 1 is again a 1, 1, 0 is a 0, and 1, 1 is again a 1. So this is the right hand side. Again, so now let us check whether the left hand side or the right hand side are equal or not. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0 we have over here. And then 1, 1, so which makes a problem. And the seventh, we have a problem. So one ended with zero is a zero. Over here, this is x or with y into z. One or zero is one. 
and y ended with z, here I have a mistake. y ended with z is, uh, or here is a zero. Okay, so where do we have this mistake? x or y? Let us check from the very beginning. y ended with z. So 1 ended with 0 is 0. That's fine. x or do it 1 ended with z. 1 with 0 is 1. That is fine. Now x or with y over here. 1, 1 is 1. And x or with z. 1 uh, one odd with zero is one. This is the mistake. Okay? X odd with z. So which means one odd with zero is one. And then which makes one odd with one is a one again. So now left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Finally, and we can say that the distributive law of the Huntington postulates both the forms plus over the dot and the dot over the plus both are satisfied. All right. So that's all for today, I believe. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.